Uh, so, yeah, I am Mark Riley. I am in Media City, and I wasn't lying to you. Richard Dawson has joined us for the evening. Richard, hello, mate. Hi, yeah. So, it was about a year ago, wasn't it, that you came in and did the first session for us? I think so. It all sort of gets blurry after a while, but uh, a year, two years, ten years... It doesn't matter, really, does it? No. It happened. It was there. And um, <laughs> and I need to thank Stephen Bass once again for introducing me to your work, because it's just uh, fabulous. Thanks, Stephen. Yeah, absolutely. The last time I saw you um, was uh, whilst we were recording All Shook Up Round the Corner. Mm-hmm. Talk about that a little bit later on. The time before that was at the Six Music Festival in Newcastle, mm. when we were watching the football in the pub. I had a feeling that you were going to bring this up. <laughs> but it's a happy story for you, the football. We lost this weekend and you beat Liverpool. You support Newcastle United. Yes. And so, it all is good. Yeah, I've been having some thoughts about football and sport in general. It's very troubling, you know. Well, you're gonna, I, Every now and then I turn into a rugby fella. <laughs> is that what you're considering at this point? I was thinking about ditching all sport and really? just, just, uh, just going with PlayStation. Okay. Well, there was a, very nearly a different sport that came into the frame that night with the um, the Scottish man who was quite lively, was he not? <laughs> it was. He was. He was animated for sure. He was animated, and I, I did fear for you at one point. Have you seen him since? You'd never. You'd seen him once before that day, and then again. Yeah, in the pub. I think he'd just moved to Newcastle. He was a kind of. Uh, he'd been working on the rigs, maybe, but he, he, his style wasn't really fitting. But hopefully he adapted pretty quick. I think he probably adapted. Yeah, he'd been working on his drinking as well at that point mm. in time. Drink responsibly. Yes. Anyway, we'll get to grips with the, the reissues and what you've been doing since we last met and all that kind of stuff shortly. Uh, but what's the first song you're going to do for us? And can you explain its uh, history briefly? The perhaps? first song is a really old song, which uh, when the Magic Bridge came out, I made new words for, but it's, it's probably about 15 years old, the music for. And it doesn't get aired so often, so hopefully my... Fingers can remember where to go on the... If you struggle, I'll give you a lift. Okay. Right, no bother. So what's it called? Uh, it's We Picked Apples in the Graveyard Freshly Mowed. Fabulous. Okay, Richard Dawson, live in session. <laughs>
street Carrying your soul In its teeth Through the snow I invite the forest Into Just wonderful, as always, Richard Dawson live in session. We picked apples in a graveyard, freshly mowed, and uh, Richard, you'll be back in here in around about a quarter of an hour, something like that, if that will suit you. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed. For Fred Harper and Evie, that is ACDC, Can I Sit Next to You? And when uh, Richard Dawson was asked to come into the room, understandably he was cussing because he needs to come into a room with me, but what he actually said was, flipping heck, I've got to follow ACDC. Are you a fan, <laughs> even slightly? Uh, yeah. You so, are? Yeah, I mean, early, particularly the early days, and for those about to rock, I mean, it's got cannons in. It's totally incredible, that track. It's That's, pretty serious stuff, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I, I did ask you before, because it is a bit of a kind of tired question, but uh, just with you being so kind of unique, I just wondered what, if anybody, or which people, have, in, have influenced you uh, over the years? Uh, well, I guess, like, uh, first it was Iron Maiden, but then leading on to uh, some of those jazz people and uh, Sun Ra's big one and uh, Nusrat Fatah Ali Khan and then on to some of the Raga singers and things like that. But really, uh, uh, Sun Ra has the best answer for this question. He's, he says the planets, nature and uh, all musicians of every style are... Uh, that is a good answer, actually. You should just take that as your own. Maybe. Well, I sort of am, and uh, I'd like to add to it, like, friends. First and foremost, friends and family. That's... Uh, oh, no, awesome. not not for sentimentality's sake, just really uh, all the conversations you have and time you spend, it all goes in, you know, that's why. You've got to be careful who you associate with. <laughs> you most certainly do. Mm. So we reckon it was about a year ago that you played for us, as I say, uh, and you did the vile stuff for us on that occasion. You also um, performed the vile stuff for us on the, uh, the iPlayer programme that we made, which is uh, All Shook Up. Yes. And, you know, I don't think people really knew what to expect. I did. 
Um, but we were in the studio just around the corner at Salford University, and it, a great experience, really great people. And you came in and you just, you know, you do what you do. You've got the amp and you're just doing the tuning. You had to take the tuning down a little bit because your voice was shredded, which mm. we'll talk about in a moment. Not that you could tell through the performance. But at the end of it, at the end of your uh, actual whole... Well, you did a set for us, you did a few songs, but the, the vinyl stuff, the whole room was kind of like... In shock, in a way. I mean, mm. in the best possible way. Do you find do you find that your performances are kind of um, are met in that way by people? Because it it seems to me that you, <laughs> you know what you do is like so yeah. so no no jaw dropping. You know, it's just shock amazing. shock would be right. Yeah, yeah, dismay. No, not that. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good kind of shock. You know, oh, I mean, because I don't th- I'd never seen anything like it in my life, and it, and I was exhausted. Yeah, well, I guess uh, thanks. You know. But I think it's as as uh, the some with that song and a few of the others is something pretty uh, s- spiky. It's like a really difficult uh, toilet experience. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever used that quote before? No, no, I haven't. I don't think the record company will be putting that on the front I of the album. I don't think I'll be using it again. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Either. I'll stick. I'll just steal from Sun Ra. Yeah, I'll yeah be, just so. stick to that if I were you. Yeah. But yeah, I mean your audiences. I've I've seen you. I've seen you performing in front of people now, and it's it's, a, it's an amazing experience. You must be getting used to it by now, I suppose. Uh, yeah, you know, like I've been doing it a long time now, and but this year has definitely been different. Uh, playing back to back dates and tours and stuff. When and bigger crowds, bigger crowds, and uh, you know, yeah, it's been it's been pretty wild. But on on the other hand, it's sort of it's, I'm I'm kind of been I've been preparing for it for a long time, uh, and it's no, it's also no different. You know, it's the same principles apply whether you're playing to two or two hundred or or however many it's still about uh sort of you know letting the song do its thing without getting too much in the way but almost uh, uh not getting in the way but you you almost have to let it uh, flow through you so maybe some of your minerals can infuse the the water a little bit right okay i mean and you are, you, you did tour australia and new zealand as well yeah yeah it was pretty wild in what uh, respect? <laughs> well, this Australia is is uh, is really messed up, and in, uh, in terms of its sort of government and the the approach to its its own history, which is recent and dreadful. And uh, uh, so, you, you know, going to Melbourne was a really healthy, felt like a healthy place. But then you get somewhere like Sydney, and the the wealth and the poverty are really rubbing up to each other right there, and. Uh, it was kind of nightmarish in a surreal way, but really amazing. Uh, and then off to New Zealand, and that's a little bit more sort of mm, ramshackle and relaxed. Uh, and they're, they're engaging with their, their own difficult history uh, a bit more, so it feels a bit healthier. And it just sort of infuses the 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 kind of the lingo and the... You know, it's a great place. I mean, Dunedin and Wellington, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's a long time since I've been there, but I remember them being great places. Yeah. And do you, um, I mean, we're talking about influences and getting influenced by everything that you, you people that you meet and the places that you go. Uh, you obviously seem quite kind of uh, upset with some aspects of what you've seen when you've been uh, been touring. Uh, do you think that'll be kind of uh, uh, appearing in your future tunes? <laughs> well, the next album's all didgeridoos. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> protest song yeah yeah no uh, i don't think upset's the right word it's like you know you you just because you're a, you're a visitor and you you take it in you just sort of watch the things but then you then you come home and see certain similarities you know things are going a quite a right right wing way at the moment it's really alarming times uh but there's lots of cause for hope as well so it's just about you know you watch and learn and hopefully you can uh, try not to make things too much more dreadful. That's not a bad philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not everyone's, but it's not a bad one. Yeah. Um, what song are you going to do for us now then, Richard? Well, I, I'd like to sing uh, for my friends back home in Newcastle, uh, another oldie, uh, Black Dog in the Sky. Great. <laughs> On 
Fantastic, as if it could be anybody else. That was Richard Dawson live in session, Black Dog in the Sky, and we'll have Richard back in around about a quarter of an hour's time for one more tune, then he'll have to skedaddle up the road going back home to Newcastle. This is Melia Jones, and, and I have been joined for the last time tonight, Sob Sob, by Richard Dawson. Hello, mate. Hiya. So, uh, we were joking before that there's a possibility of a new album called Difficult Toilet Experience, a uh, tale told with didgeridoo, but that's probably not where you're going to go, is it? Let's not rule it out. But, uh... <laughs> okay, so you have written some new material, have you, for the, for the next album? Uh, I've got a bunch of the music ready, and uh, I spent about three months writing about three lines mm. of the words. 
uh, over the summer. So I'm going to go back to the drawing board on on the words. Right. So yeah. Well, yeah. Difficult toilet experience. I, I'm going to rule it out at this very moment. <laughs> okay. If you don't mind. Okay. That's fine. Um, okay then. So do you know? I, I'm just mentioning this in passing, and you're probably not even bothered water off a duck's back and all that. But there, a lot of people were absolutely astonished that the, the Mercury Prize didn't include your album, Nothing <laughs> Important. Were you, were you kind of uh, were people making those noises to you and, and talking about the Mercury Prize to you or not? Uh, yeah, a few people around us put bets on and stuff like that. But um, I told them at the time, and I and I repeat. Repeated that uh, gambling is a mugs game. Well, you're dead right, mate. You wouldn't work on those adverts in the football, would you? <laughs> and there's one person in particular we know who we're talking about. Yeah. Um, okay, then. He's so a good actor, though. Yeah, he is a good actor. It's, it's, we know, we're both talking about the same guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what dates have you got coming up? Uh, I've only got the one date remaining uh, this year, which is in Bristol on this Saturday with Islam Chipsy and Eek, who are totally incredible. Uh, and then that's it, really. Then get get back down to writing. So it's the end of a end of this, this particular zone. Right. Okay. Uh, and we were talking before, semi speculating, but maybe not about ATP next year because Stuart Lee, who's a massive fan of yours, uh, is curating it in April next year. He's got Wild Billy Childish and Sleaford Mods and all kind yes, of people. Yeah. Playing. And you reckon you're going to be doing that, don't you? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I'm. If, I don't think I'm allowed to. Say, uh, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. Well, possibly. I think it's a possibility. Right. Well, I'd be very surprised if you don't, because I know that he's mad on you. Yeah. I mean, put I it that way. I just don't know if it's been. I don't know if it's been... It, has, it saying, has been. Oh, it has? Okay. Just now by me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we'll see. I didn't say definitely, did I? <laughs> and it, it won't stand up in court. Yeah, I mean, I either will be there or uh, I won't be there. Oh, you one, won't be one there. of the two possibilities. Right, okay. All right, the clear as mud. And we do really, really need to mention, because it was just tonight that you saw, for the very first time, the Magic Bridge and the Glass Trunk on vinyl, a big, meaty, oh, lovely packaging. Oh, and your face when you opened it up, you were very happy with it. Yeah, no, they look really, really nice. I mean, I've seen them on vinyl before, but they had different artwork for the glass trunk, and uh, yeah, they're, they're looking, they're looking pretty, pretty nice. But I actually went into Piccadilly Records and pretended to look in, you know, the the jazz section and the folk section. But then actually, I was just looking to see if they had them in. And did they? Uh, no. Well, they will do. I mean, <laughs> if you've not seen it yet, then they're pretty hot off the press, aren't they? They're out now, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, I think it, I think it came out on Friday, maybe, this Friday gone. You know why there was none in there? Because they've all been bought? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's the way that we're looking at it, definitely. And you have signed uh, b both of them for Sid. Yes. Who's a toddler who listens to this programme and who absolutely adores your work. Uh, that's, that's good. It's good to start them early, I think. Absolutely. Bringing them up right, all that kind of stuff. So you got one tune to do left for us then, Richard. What are you going to do? I thought I'd sing uh, this Copper Family song. Uh, um, f uh, the Suffolk, Suffolk Family uh, song called The Bright Young... Plowboy, it's, I like the tune, but I like the simplicity or the seeming simplicity of the story. But there's a lot more, there's a lot more to it, and there's some, I think there's some troubling elements about the song, also. But it's, uh, it's a really nice tune. Okay, all right then. So I'd, I'd like to sing it for Tony, husband. Yeah, great. And also for my friend Sarah in Brighton. Fabulous. Okay, Richard Dawson live in session. Um, it was of an honest labourer, as I've heard people say. He goes out in the morning and he works hard all the day. And he's got seven children, and most of them are small. He's nothing but hard labour to maintain them all. A gentleman one morning walking out to take the air He met with this poor labouring man and solemnly declared I think you are that thresher man Said he, yes sir that's true How do you get your living just as well as you do? 
Sometimes I do reap and sometimes I do mow At other times to hedging and to ditching I do go There is nothing comes amiss to me From the harrow to the plough That's how I get my living by the sweat of my brow. When I go home at night, just as tired as can be, I take my youngest child and I dance him on my knee. The others come around me with their pretty prattling toys, and that's the only comfort a working man and joys my wife and i are married and we join both in one yoke we live just like the turtle dove and not one word provoke Although the times are very hard and we are very poor, we can scarcely keep the raving wolf away from the door. Well done, you honest labourer, you speak well of your wife. I hope you will live happy all the days of your life. Here is forty acres of good land, which I will give to thee, which will help to maintain your sweet wife and family. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Just fantastic. Richard Dawson, live in session for the last time tonight, the bright young ploughboy. And, uh, well, I will see you next year, maybe in Wales, mate, but uh, thanks for coming in. Well, my pleasure. Nice to see you. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Um, we'll go to the archive.